What's up YouTube, James here, and welcome to another Anno 1800 video. This will be a little bit different from my normal stuff, you know, my normal Let's Plays, because I wanted to take some time to talk about money in Anno 1800, because I've had some comments on a few of my videos, I've seen some conversations on the subreddit, on the Facebook group, stuff like that, um, where people are just having issues with money, you know, fluctuating in and out, always negative, having uh, trouble with expensive buildings, stuff like that, and I just wanted to take some time to address that and maybe provide some of my assistance here because I mean the you know the the proof is right here I am making you know plus 51k I mean that's nothing special or nothing crazy compared to like some screenshots I've seen of people making like you know a million but um it's still it's still you know in the positive and I'm still making money here I have a little chunk of change built up and some of that's due to propaganda sure but I'm not running any propaganda right now and I'll prove that in a minute here but um oh an explosion um but anyways so let's go ahead and go to crown falls because that way i can better demonstrate what's going on with money so if you look here let's get right to it you can click on the artisans and you can see here in the lower right corner that you have you know you have your sausages soap canned food you can mouse over all of this stuff and uh and you can see kind of the values that they're providing here and now that all ties in to the value like per house and if you go click on balance here in the upper left, you'll see that your bal your finance balance is actually, what just happened there? Weird. Um, so this is the balance just for um, Crown Falls. But if you click on all islands, you'll see the balance for everything else. And you have your income and your expenses and you subtract your expenses from your income and that gives you the net balance here up the top. You can click, uh, you can see here the newspaper, the sum that's given you for the newspaper, the sum of residents, um, and then the value is right here. But you can click on the filter and it'll show you kind of like the largest, um, the largest amount of ba largest balance that's being taken out. And for me, it's production buildings, world taxes, and trade ships. And I suspect that it'll be that way for most people as well. But that's kind of finance in a nutshell for all of your islands. And you can look at each one individually just to. I don't know, just to kind of see where they all sit. And a lot of mine are just for supply purposes, so a lot of them are going to be negative. Um, but anyways, you can close out of that. So the residents uh, play into that larger number in a big way. And if you just click on the artisans here, and like I said earlier, you know, you can see their needs here. All of mine are fulfilled. Um, and you can just just take a look here briefly, and, and you'll see, you know, pretty quickly um, which goods are the biggest. And for artisans, that's uh, that's coins. Or that's, sorry, that's fur coats. Um, fur coats are giving them the most coins. And if you go to happiness, and you look at the happiness, and clearly the beer is giving them the most coins here. So supplying them with fur coats and beer are the highest value uh, needs that you can provide. And then rum is, is a very close, I believe, second. Yeah, rum is a very close second. Um, so so re kind of remember these values. Um, I'll, I can go back to the house later But if you go to engineers and you look at these values the fur coats has um, More than doubled in value for the engineers. So it's become much more valuable for the engineers um, So if you have a, a supply of these um, at least uh, at least even kind of a surplus um, Your engineers will gobble that right up and they'll turn it into coins. So That's extremely valuable you go to happiness and then rum has turned into a monster here at 45 coins i believe that's that's triple um of what it is for artisans at uh 16. so rum has become hugely valuable and they no longer consume beer so um the more you upgrade the engineers you know the more beer that you'll have for maybe a surplus later on and i'll talk about that later when i start talking about trade but anyways um you can see here that the most valuable things for the engineers is um is rum the bank and the pocket watches and the bank is like a pretty easy need to fulfill so um yeah that's uh that's pretty straightforward i mean you, you just you provide them with the the largest amount of coins that you can um but i would say like first and foremost above everything these basic needs are the most important because you'll be getting the most population per house uh possible and you know the more population you have uh in each house, the more coins, the more taxes they pay, which is uh, income per house right here. And as you can see here, I'm missing power for, for this little edge corner here. But if you go up here, oh, actually, my oil power plant's missing um, oil right now. So they're not getting the most population per house. That's only one person. But power isn't really like 
it's just a kind of a box to check off so you can upgrade, but it's not like a huge deal. So you can go to investors and check this out. Um, investors actually, so, so two of the highest uh, need earners are the steam carriages and the jewelry. Um, jewelry at 140 and then steam carriages at 168. Now I don't have anything special in the town hall to change these values or to provide these needs. So th this is just what it is. And uh, you'll see that this is this is largest by far. So so if you just make sure to take take a look and take care to uh, to really analyze uh, what needs are the most valuable and provide them, um, your money your money will guaranteed shoot up and stay up there. Um, and and the bank is incredibly valuable to the investor. So having a bank around alone is gonna generate a lot of money. And generally, once you get to investors, you don't really worry about money anyway. So yeah, that kind of leads us into production because as you saw earlier on this balance here, my if I look at all my islands, my production buildings are 120,000. And that's like, <laughs> that's an incredible amount. And then taxes, you know, that's that's a whole nother beast in itself. But production buildings is the, the highest amount and it's very close to taxes, but it's 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 pretty much by a long shot compared to everything below it. So if you look at the production tab here, and you can just go to all islands. Well actually, yeah, you I'll go to all islands for just a minute here, and you'll see that I'm generally not producing much of a surplus. Um and if I am, I have the buildings paused so that I just, so that, so that the income is, is paused for the manufacture costs on those buildings. It depends on the difficulty too, but in a little bit lower difficulties, you can halt the manufacture costs by just pausing production on the building. Um, in expert mode, you can't do that. So you really have to mind your P's and Q's as far as um, how many production buildings you have. But um, if you go to Crown Falls, you'll see that the demand will actually Crown Falls, Isle Royale, Mackinac, those are my three like most populous islands. And the rum demand is at 41. But I know I know which islands are producing my producing my rum, and that will be the islands of the New World. Uh, Beaver Island, Diego Garcia. You can hold control and, and to click these little islands here. Um, Guam and Hawaii. So if I look at production here of consumer goods, I'm actually producing 58 rum. And yeah. And the demand is 19. Actually, Guam doesn't produce any rum. So um, so the demand is 15. And uh, so that makes the total demand of like 56 or 57 for all of my empire. And so I'm still, even then, still producing a surplus of rum. That's just how important it is. Um, so yeah, just making sure that's being traded. I, just, just to reiterate too, I'll show you here my trade routes. I mean... These are all in um, in the old world going to my other main island, Isle Royale. But that's a full cargo ship right there of rum. This is another one of rum. And another one here. It's not full. but And then you go to Crown Falls. I've got one cargo ship here that's full. Another one here. Um, so yeah, I'm just importing a ton of rum to these islands. That, like Securing that rum is a really, really big deal. And if you go to the new world, I'll show you or just a quick glimpse of one of my islands here. Um, that has, uh, yeah, sugarcane fertility. The full icon hasn't loaded yet. But um, just prioritizing sugarcane as soon as you can, as soon as you hit artisans. Make sure you've got a nice little island on the new world with that sugarcane fertility because, man, that is going to be your money earner and it's going to save you from the depths of poverty, basically, pretty pretty early on. So let's go back to Cape Trelawney. And I think there was one more thing I wanted to talk about, and that was... Um, that was these, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the workers here is kind of the first stage of the game where you really start to see a lot of expense and that's in the steel beams and the weapons chain. So, so I mean this right here costs 50, uh, 20, 70, 170 plus 200. So that's 370 taken off this number up here in your balance bar. I mean, an early game, that's a big deal. So, I mean, you can forego the steel works by just buying steel beams from Archie, and I, I do believe it comes out to be cheaper. Um, or just buying according to your needs. And then um, and then just going from there, you know? Because you can you can go ahead and produce your chain here. 
This takes four steel beams, this takes four. So you can make your soap factory chain and uh, and sell the excess to uh, Eli Bleakworth and then buy buy more steel beams from uh, from Archie. Because Archie's going to replenish until he has 150 every time anyway. And then with beer, you can sell the beer to Anne Harlow because she, she gives you quite a bit of money for it. And uh, I'll show you real quick. Anne Harlow, she's right here. And I'm, I'm friendly with her. Of course you have to make friends with her before you can trade with her, but... Look at here how hugely valuable it is. It costs, uh, or she gives you 1,040 per ton. So you can bring a ton of 50 here, or bring 50 tons. And I mean, that's a that's a nice cool 51K right off, you know, just from that. Um, you can also sell the ships you make to Archie. You just, you just wheel them right up here, not wheel, but sail them right up here. And uh, just click on the little button. I'll just show you right here. I'll buy a ship real quick and then I'll show you buy it so you wheel it right up here and then um the little the little icon's not lighting up because i don't think i can sell my command ship but this little uh sell ship button will light right up and you just click that and he'll offer to buy it for a price and then boom so i hope that helps with money um those are just kind of like the few tips that i've learned along the way and you know it's helped me to kind of i don't know just to navigate my playthroughs because I'm a Let's Plays, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm not the best Anno player out there, but I managed to keep my head above water as far as the finances go, and it's going pretty well for me. And, you know, if you don't have access to Crown Falls, that's fine too. You're just going to have to make sure that you really, you know, get a hold of the larger islands in the old world. You're going to have to branch out and take some stuff from the AI, or, you know, you're going to have to find a way to do it. But uh, I, I really do think that once you, if you're able to make it to at least engineers then you'll be able to push to investors and once you get to investors you really don't have any money issues again um especially especially once you start providing them with the bank and the jewelry jewelry is kind of an annoying production chain but i mean you can get there right and there's cool items too that can provide needs so if you look here i've got the actor now there is an epic one a purple one that supplies even more needs and uh you know, it, it, it gives the variety theater need, the rum and the canned food. And that that's another big money maker too. So, you know, it, it really is, it really just, uh, it really just depends on the needs. That That's what it all boils down to is it boils down to your supply chain and providing those needs. And honestly, the key is luxury goods. In my opinion, you provide those luxury goods, your income will shoot sky high and you won't have any money issues. So, all right, well, that's all I've got for the money guide, and I really hope that this helped you in some way. And if you enjoyed my content, please let me know by leaving a comment. And I appreciate any constructive criticism that you have. Um, a like would help my small channel a lot. I really do enjoy making Anno content. I enjoy YouTube. I enjoy this little community. Everything about it's amazing. It's all, you know, good vibes here. And I appreciate any support that you have for me. So. With that, I will catch you on the next episode of my Let's Play, which I'm going to upload tonight. So take care.